Hello everyone, welcome to my world. This is going to be my natural hair journey documented for all to see. Um, my name is Caroline, aka Nappy Nubian Poet, and I'm named Nappy Nubian Poet because obviously I have nappy hair, I'm a Nubian, and I am a poet. So all those components merge together to make me. Um, right, the reason that I'm making this video is that I have finally decided to go ahead and document my journey into achieving a full-blown wild afro. That's my aim. That is my goal. I've been natural for about four years now. Four years, nearly four years. And through that time, the trials and tribulations, my goodness, from the looks that people give you on the street, from, you know, um, my mum's... <laughs> My mum's, um, uh, you know, the way she associates natural hair with being nappy and, you know, not being attractive, you know, that's how she was raised. You know, and all these other elements that have come into it and I've still held strong. I've stayed away from the creamy crack. You know, relax it for me. Um, the reason why I went natural is because it's just, I think it's better for, for my health. I think you know, this hair suits me more, I don't think the relaxed look really sits well with me, and this is me, I'm I'm wild, I can be a bit, you know, bubbly, I can get out of hand sometimes, you know what I'm saying, so I feel like this represents me, having natural hair represents me in more ways than one, and um, you know, I'm, I don't in any way criticise people, who, women who do relax their hair or wear, or wear weaves, I was once that woman, you know, it is what it is, And th but this is me, and I embrace it, and I hope you embrace it too. Now, I'm living in the UK, um, just outside London, and even though we do have many, many hair supply stores, that's what I call them, because most of them stock weave, um, it's so difficult to get the products that you need when you have natural hair. I mean, I've been, I've been through a long list. I am a certified product junkie. I've been through them all. Care Care, um, Organic Root Stimulator, Elastic QB do grow so what I'm going to do now is reach out to other women who would like to go natural who are natural or or you know they're transitioning they've got relaxed hair at the moment and they're thinking of going natural um, so what I'll be doing I'll be reviewing hair products I will be um, trying out different hairstyles experimenting with different hairstyles so you guys can get some tips and ideas of how to style your hair and what else am I talking about? Anything else in between, basically. It's just whatever, whatever's going on at the time. I'll come and check you guys out and see, see what your opinions on certain things are. And the reason why my hair is resembling foghorn leghorn at the moment is because I have just taken my hair out of um, box braid extensions. They're quite, you know, they're quite long actually. They reached about mid back, but I hated them. The way was itching my scalp was fire! Whoosh! I'm glad to get those out. I haven't even washed my hair yet. Um, the reason why I haven't washed my hair yet is because I wanted to do a product review straight away. And the products I am going to be reviewing today are Cream of Nature range. Right, cream of nature. So we've got, we have the Cream of Nature, Sunflower, and where's my glasses? Sunflower and coconut <laughs> detangling shampoo. Regular form uh, formula for normal hair. Now I was prompted to buy this this particular product because for a while now I've been on YouTube trying to look for ideas and any hair care tips for natural hair, and I've been and I came across Black Onyx seventy seven. I've come across. Um, Rustic Beauty, who has a uh, hair texture more similar to mine, I guess, than the others. And then there was this naturalista by the name of Miss Chris New. Now she has the most gorgeous hair. Oh my goodness, it's like a huge afro and so beautiful. And it looks so soft and moisturized. And she said that she used this. So I'm about to try this and see how it works for me. And then I'll let you know. And uh, w these products that I'm going to re be reviewing, most of them are going to be cheap and cheerful because I don't see why we should spend a bomb on hair products. You know, there are other things in the world to be focusing on and spending our money on, especially for students. I'm not I'm no longer a student, but I understand what it was like to be a student trying to grow natural hair. 
Um, so that's the cream of nature shampoo I'm going to be using. I can't get a hang of this webcam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me get back. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Let me just scan that across. All right. All right. You got it. Got it. Good. Okay. And then I'm going to follow that up with the cream of nature Jehovah and olive oil moisture active deep conditioning treatment for dehydrated hair. Whew. Now that's a mouthful. <laughs> it better work for that mouthful. Um. And here's what it looks like, ladies. Okay. Let me get this right. Oh, you got it, you got it, let me just, alright, uh, okay, cool, um, and I'm going to be using these two today, I think one of them was 290, I think the conditioner was 299, and the shampoo was 189, so cheap and cheerful, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of trial, trials of products, and, alright, now I'm going to wash the dirt out of my hair, and I shall follow up with a video about how these products, you know, reacted to my hair. And I hope many people follow my journey and that is helpful to some women out there. And we don't, we don't, we don't need no creamy crack. You see it there? We don't need no cream. We don't need no, you, you, you know? We can do, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We will do this. Okay. Peace. Speak to you later.